Hi everybody, here we are again. Uh, and I've got a few packages through the post. Quite a while ago to be honest. Just checking that the name's been crossed out on that address. Uh, so what we got? Well, a pack of stainless steel washers. Another pack of silicone washers. filter, it's just a stainless steel mesh with a screw thread, thread fitting, and a tap. Now the tap does come with two stainless steel washers and two silicon O-rings, but I don't think the silicon o-rings I don't think they'll be up to the job I don't know they may be uh, but we've got big rings instead just in case so I probably didn't need to buy the stainless steel washers the stainless steel well, they look about exactly the same so probably stainless steel stainless steel fittings so the time has come to finally upgrade the tap on the Burko boiler. It's only been about 20 years in coming. I've been intending on doing that since the first time I nearly scolded myself when the, uh, the hose came off the tap. So it was only after watching the hapless ginger I'll put a link down in the description. He upgraded his tap on his Burko boiler about two weeks after he got it. I needed a bit more of a kick than that. So two weeks versus 20 years, not too bad. So we'll get into the, the build a bit. The first thing is to take the tap off. So I've got a one and three sixteenths inch socket stroke 30 mil pop that on surprising that was timed up with the pliers but with the socket on easy so that's the old tap off now the new tap doesn't have well he's got Room for a spanner on the outside, but why you'd need one of them because you can just grab all of the that's good as so. I think I'll discard the two o ring type washers. I wasn't sure. I think I'm going to put a washer both on the inside and on the outside. It's a bit of overkill. So the stainless steel washer gives it support. So fortunately fits without redrilling. It's a little bit on the not, not the, the small side, but if you look at the other tap, the other tap was elongated, so the same, roughly the same diameter, but not as long because the other tap was designed to not rotate in the actual boiler itself. So second washer on. I've lost the stainless steel. Oh no, there it is put it in the bucket then. So stainless steel washer on, now that should compress up quite well. What I'm going to do is turn the inside then just turn the tap. Yeah. 
You generally don't want to over compress washers too much because it deforms them and stops them actually working correctly. So I might give that a little another quarter turn roughly. So that was turning both the, the tap and the inner pipe and then just turning the pat, tap on the outside. That feels fairly substantial. Now, it never used to have a hot filter. Well, never used to have any sort of filter. So that is just sitting above the element, which is just nice. And then we turn the tap round. You can see the tap works quite well. We'll have to do a leak test. Yep, it's pissing out, but it's coming through the thread. So, Mike Bung, I'll see about one of the O rings between that washer and the uh, the tap. Right, I don't think the o-ring is going to work because as soon as you put the washer on just put a little bit of pressure on and the o-ring rides straight up over here onto the nut of the um, the fitting. Um, I'm fairly sure I won't have enough room for washer O-ring, washer, and to be honest that's not really going to do a right lot because you've still got the same problem. So, plan two is gas tape. It's almost, well it is the same stuff as plumber's tape, it's PTFE tape, but it's a lot thicker. This is... Uh, how thick is this? 02 mil thick. Whereas I don't know how thick plumber's tape is, but it's not very thick at all. Right, so you need to wrap it in the direction that you're going to turn the thread. Right, so I'm going to go onto the fitting. Now, gas tape only really needs one turn to seal but I'm going to do a turn and a half just about and I'm going to continue it like that so we've got just over a turn throughout the whole of the thread so as you can see that's filling the thread quite nicely and I'll stop there. We'll trash it. Shouldn't matter, I don't think. Right, so washer on. And that's already getting quite a good seal there, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Silicon washer again. Tap to the outside, silicon washer, stainless washer, probably getting in the way here a little, and then thread the fitting on. sure whether I'm going to have the top tap horizontal off or vertical off and just get a cloth or something 
Well slippy now it's wet. Right. So that's hand tight. And then gripping the inside, turn the outside, quarter of a turn. That doesn't feel overly tight, so we'll give it another quarter of a turn that way. May well be cutting into the tape, that could be a bad idea. And then quarter of a turn again. Right. Mm, a little bit more. Yeah, that's about horizontal now. Right, so let's try leak testing again. Right, that's been 10 minutes. We've got a very slight leak coming through the tape. Now, It was sealing reasonably all right before, but I had to reposition it because it was leaking up at the top here because I'd got, I hadn't got the tap central. Um, so with undoing it, I should have undone the tape as well, bitten the bullet, undone it all, emptied it, but I tried to do it in situ and now it's obviously cut through the tape, so we'll have to do it again. Right, got everything assembled again. This time I'm going to Make sure tap central to the hole. Got it messed up last time. Because the hole is slightly recessed. Got Christmas decorations banging me in the head. And this time I'm just going to try and tighten it up with water pump pliers. Rather than turning the tap, because turning the tap is going to cut the tape and potentially allow it to leak. Can't get that very tight at all. Let's try. Can't get better grip like that. tight so leak test again right it's been half an hour so that is the cold water leak test passed as you can see no leaks there right that's it it's just come to the boil still no leaks Switched it off, but ow. so yeah, so it's ready for the next brew day, which hopefully will be very soon, maybe tomorrow. Right, if you like the video, please thumb it up and share it and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Right, cheers, bye.